the study that study pancreatic fluid collections, um, studying patients that consume cannabis versus those who don't, is that uh, as cannabis use increases um, in the legalization in the United States, we may see more uh, cannabis users. And as acute pancreatitis is one of the most common diseases in gastroenterology, we wanted to look at uh, a special cohort, those who develop a pancreatic fluid collection, and see if uh, any, any impact of cannabis. Um, the take home points are that patients with, uh, that consume cannabis were found to have um, higher rates of acute kidney injury, higher rates of systemic inflammatory response syndrome, and also higher rates of ICU or intensive care unit uh, need. Uh, although they were found, interestingly, um, to require less pancreatic fluid collection drainage interventions and also they develop less bacterial infections or bacteremia in, in, in the blood. The study found that actually cannabis users were uh, found to have uh, poor outcomes. They, they have higher rates of uh, kidney injury, as I mentioned before, systemic inflammatory response syndrome. And I think uh, the take home message from this study and from those findings is that we need more data. Uh, what we have right now, the studies on acute pancreatitis in cannabis users is very limited and no one has really looked into the cohort that has pancreatic fluid collection. So um, the take home point is that we need more data that the cannabis um, impact in acute pancreatitis is still to be studied and we don't know if it helps or if it's uh, actually uh, harmful, uh, but we can conclude that we, we, we need more data in this topic.